Donuts are a very important part of our pie face business. Customers love biting into a fresh quality donut and sharing the large range with family and friends. So it's important to always follow the correct procedures for storage, handling and shelf life of donuts. By following correct procedures, you'll make sure happy customers keep returning and buying more. It is important to immediately check stock on delivery to your site. You are within your rights to refuse delivery of any damaged cartons or products. Frozen stock must be received into your site at or below minus 7 degrees. Check the stock temperature using a temperature gun or a probe inserted between cartons. It's easy to forget about stock or be too busy serving customers, but all stock must immediately be placed in the freezer. Stock left on the floor will start to defrost and condensation in the carton will occur, which results in ice crystals forming on products. When we then defrost this product, it can become soft and the quality and taste of the product deteriorates. No one likes to eat a stale donut. So here are the do's and do nots for stock delivery. Do check delivery, take the temperature, record details electronically and put stock away immediately. Do not sign the delivery docket without checking. Do not leave the stock sitting on the shop floor. When placing stock into the freezer, the first in first out rule applies. Move old stock to the front and place the new stock at the back. First in, first out. Hand washing is the key to maintaining good hygiene and food safety. Rinse your hands, apply soap, rub your palms together, rub your fingers, rub your wrists and rinse your hands again. Then dry them with a paper towel and discard the paper towel in the bin. Now let's wash and clean our trays ready for the donuts. Clean and sanitised trays must always be used to defrost donuts. Always follow the correct process to sanitise trays ready to place donuts into defrost. Wash the tray in hot soapy water. Rinse it under clean running water. Spray it evenly with Activate No Rinse Sanitizer. Then air dry on the rack above your sink. When these trays are dry, they can be stored upside down on the donut rack. Everyone loves fresh donuts and to help you achieve great donut sales, there's a donut procedure timeline which makes the whole process easy to follow. Simply follow the times on this chart to make sure you're completing the process correctly. Let's complete each step. Whenever you're handling food, gloves must be worn. Change your gloves regularly and between each task. Never reuse the same gloves. Always dispose of used gloves. Donuts require a 12-hour defrost in the cool room. You are required to start this process at 4.45pm daily. Remove frozen donuts from the freezer and place the required donuts into your clean and sanitised tray. There's a maximum of 15 donuts per tray. Make sure you read the name of the donut variety on the box, as it is this information you will need plus the quantity for the electronic log. The shelf life of the donuts is 24 hours once placed in the cabinet, except for the jam ball donut which has only 12 hours in the cabinet. If you remove the donuts from the freezer to defrost on Wednesday 26th of February at 5pm, you would use a Friday sticker and write 5am. Total time from freezer to wastage is 36 hours. Place the donuts into the cool room either in the rack or spread them out evenly on the cool room shelves. Any donuts not placed into the tray for defrosting are returned in their box to the freezer. Wrap the donut box with cling wrap both ways and insert back into the original box and fold down the flaps. Return to the freezer as soon as possible. You must record all the details in the electronic logbook, including the number and type of donuts. Remove donuts from the cool room. Leave them for 45 minutes on the bench. Use a timer to help you. At 4.45 a.m. daily, discard all the donuts remaining in the cabinet and any donut boxes that are filled and record them as wastage in the console.
Once the timer alarm sounds, you need to check the internal temperature of the donut using a sanitized probe. Put on clean gloves, lift the donut, and insert the probe into the bottom of the donut. The internal temperature should read at or above 18 degrees. At 5 a.m. daily, place all the defrosted donuts into the cabinet and place a white label at the rear of the cabinet. Jam ball and sugar donuts must be placed towards the center of the cabinet. Tickets should be aligned underneath the donut tray, and when a product is double faced, a ticket is placed to the left of the trays. The cabinet should now be set up according to current planogram. Always suggestive sell to a customer. This means when a customer asks for a pie, you ask if they would like a donut to go with it. Donuts should be placed into a donut face bag and handed to the customer with a napkin. More than two donuts should be placed into a box for the customer. Your donut stand will also need to be restocked at 5 a.m. using the defrosted donuts. Using clean gloves, fold the donut boxes ready for your counter stand. Fill the four pack of donut boxes with defrosted donuts and make sure you select a variety of donuts. Place the same date label underneath the box to indicate its shelf life. The shelf life is 24 hours. Now fill the donut stand with empty boxes at the rear and a full box at the front. Now let's recap the donut process. Step 1. 4.45 p.m. Remove donuts from the freezer. Step 2. 5 p.m. Place in trays in cool room. Step 3. 4.15 a.m. Remove from cool room and place on the bench for 45 minutes. Step 4. 4.45 a.m. Throw out all unsold donuts. Step 5. 5 a.m. Refill cabinet and donut boxes. Follow these simple steps and your donuts will always be a pie face favourite.